So this, today's uh, class will have a, um, the theme of, of the fire and the air element and anchoring the flame so we don't get too hot, too overly expanded and, and flamed on, but just nicely grounded, motivated, courageous, alive, passionate. Okay. Those nice qualities of fire. So that's our invocation. Let's start together with our hands. Softly touching in front of the heart, breathing to the heart, circling the breath around the heart. Summer yoga is heart-based, intuitive, prayerful practice. Invoking with sweetness, we ask for the, the many blessings, the benefits of the yoga, body-wise, mind-wise, emotionally. Nicely balanced. May our communication always be clear and loving, bringing out the best in each other, mutual honor and respect. May our hearts have more and more peace. Chanting together. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahavirya Karavavahai Tejasvinavadhi Tamastuma Vitvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Om Anaya Sena Yehasya Ajas Pram Brahm Hachintanam Asanam Tatvijaniya Yoginam Sukadayakam Om Hatha Yoga Parottamaya Namaha Om Hatha Yoga Parottamaya Namaha Om Hatha Yoga Parottamaya Namaha Inhale, keep the breath for a moment. Exhale, releasing the arms wide and open. Take another deep breath here. And on the exhale, bringing your arms into the eagle arms, wrapping. And start to circle the upper body. With a smooth breath. Here, yeah, as, we, as we pull this stretch through the shoulders and the back, it helps to release the heat and tension of holding patterns that are there in the shoulders, which especially tend to take a load on. Hmm? May this movement help us to take a load off, change direction. Each, each posture is, is like a friend, and you can ask it to help, help me in, in this way or that way. You see it that way. It also makes the practice much more magical. Hmm? Each posture, each movement, like a friend, dear friend, helping.
driving into center inhale exhale releasing your hands behind on the fingertips inhale to the heart lift and out through the mouth deeply in fill the heart and out through the mouth Good. and one more time Good. releasing the heat from the shoulders from the heart Relax your hands. Other side now, inhale your arms open. Exhale, crossing the other way. Sometimes you have to check. Does this feel familiar? You've been here before recently? Okay. And then moving in a circle. the stronger, denser muscles of the, the outer hips and outer shoulder, back muscles, they're the ones that really can hold the heat in and hot emotions. Also the jaw, the same, same family of, of dense, hard-working muscles, relaxing the jaw. Changing directions. Smooth, even breath. You were also getting the nice massage in the belly, huh? squeezing the organs. Yeah. That's also supportive of the fire and helping to relieve excess air. into center, inhale, exhale, release the hands behind and the fingertips, lift the heart, inhale, and fully through the mouth, <coughs> deeply in, and through the mouth, deeply in, releasing heat. Relaxing your hands. Please come lying down on your back for a moment. We're going to set the, the anchor to hold the flame. I've seen this work effectively, and, uh, where we really got this nice uh, contact and grounding and anchoring the flame. And from there, we can, we can flame on and be safe. Bend your knees, bring the tops of the feet on the floor. In neutral pose with the back naturally arched. On the exhale, pressing the back into the ground, make an imprint. And on the inhale, softening through the pelvis and the belly, expanding the belly. And feel each exhalation, the connection to the deeper core, the muscles that are further in, closer to the back. Visualize and feel the imprint of the back.
Feel the rhythm between the, the lumbar, the lower back, and the sacrum, or pelvis, also involved. And then we go into the next step. So as we press the, the back down, we continue to exhale, rolling up, lifting those hips, and inhale, raising the arms over. Exhale, this nice roll down of the spine from the upper, middle, the lower back. And inhale, follow the hands to the hips. Starting the cycle again with the exhale, pressing down to come up, floating the hips, opening the lungs with the arms coming over. And sweet roll down the spine, so nice for the back. And inhale the arms return. A few more times. Next time when your legs are up, or your hips are up, set. take the right leg up into the air, and pointing the toes, you bring the leg down straight, almost touching the heel to the ground, not quite. Inhale, and exhale up, flexing the foot. Good. Pointing, inhaling the leg down, Exhaling and up. And here you'll, you'll feel the, the heating quality here. As you're using the bigger muscles, the glutes, the thighs. And this helps to stabilize in the hips. And good core strength. After your next time, lowering the leg down. Going to the other side. A few breaths, you can make them. Inhale, the leg comes down, straight, strong. Exhaling, flexing up. See if we can keep the hips level. Foot that's on the ground and that leg, strong, stable. Here next time, so smoothly landing the leg and rolling down for a rest and a good exhalation. Let's take the soles of the feet together and Baddha Konasana, open the knees wide. The hands on the lower belly between the hip bones. Taking some soft breaths to the pelvis. Hip opening is also a way to, to release excess heat. See it as a way of kind of softly giving this release valve for these frustrations and, and tensions and patience, unfulfilled passions to release from the head.
now very slowly, okay, like to take maybe uh, close to a minute to bring the knees together. So the feet stay together, and you're lifting the legs up very, very slowly. Okay. You know how else to say slow? That you know that you're in a thick pool of honey. Okay, you just it's very difficult to move these legs up. So you may feel it starts a little bit of shaking. That's a good sign. Let it shake and, and encourage that shaking to come. Breathing nice and slow and even. This one really facilitates the, the release of nervous tension. And here it starts the the shaking, and it just, just starts to happen, huh? Still slowly, slowly. Maybe you're halfway there by now. Welcome all the sensations. Feelings. Coming closer to the finish at the top. Separate your feet and bring the knees together like a tipi. Have a good exhalation. Engaging in the hara, the core, press the lower back flat to the floor. Lift up the right leg and then the left leg into this tabletop, 90 degrees at the knee joint. Hands alongside the body and making the swan dip, arcing the, the thigh down, touching with the toes. And up, inhale, exhale down and up. Keep your back glued to the floor. Really feeling and cultivating a deeper core strength, protective strength. Support the back and all of our movements, our balances. And to anchor the floor. Keep the lower back imprinted on the ground. One can also breathe out through the mouth. One more time, each side. Bringing your hands around the knees, pull the knees in. A good exhalation with a, an audible sound. Feel the warm glow in the belly. And please come rolling over to the side of the hands and knees. Try this variation of tucking the toes under. Look to your hands. Really connect through the hands, strong arms, rolling the, the inner elbows 
towards each other, slightly spiraled. Now as you inhale, filling the belly, the chest, the head rising. Exhale and opening up the back, drawing the belly in. Inhale, hips, belly expanding, chest, head. Exhale from the upper back through the spine, the belly pulling in. And continue smooth, easy movements. Same time, feel the strength, feel the strength in your belly. <coughs> Marjalasana, the cat stretch. Really arching up the back. Yes, that's it. Next exhale, coming back to a child's pose, let the head come down. So keeping the ground, the connection to earth through the forehead, releasing tensions from the back, breathing to the back. Three times we'll chant Om Bhumi Dev Ye Namaha. So in, the, in this way, bringing not just dirt and, and whatever's there and the earth and minerals and stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a living goddess. The earth is a living goddess, this earth. We recognize that and we honor, we ask for, for help and support. Om Bhumi Dev Ye. Namaha together three times Om Bhumi Devye Namaha the grounding invoke Om Bhumi Devye Namaha patience Om Bhumi Devye Namaha stability Come on up onto your, your knees, rolling over into a squat. And interlace your, your fingers, bringing your index fingers forward like a gun. I'm really feeling the, the stomach pulling in, lower belly pulling back. As we say, Hari, Hari, Om, Hari, Om, soften, Hari, Om, 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 that's it, Hari. Om, feel it. Hari. Om, Hari. Om, Hari. Om, Hari. Om, Hari. Om, Hari. Om, Hari. Om and Hari. Om. Down, stretch.
stretch your legs back towards the downward dog. Walking the dog for a moment. And stretching up your left leg way up high. Reach, press your hands strongly into the floor. Reach your toes, lengthen. Feel the stretch from the toes all the way through the front of the hip, belly. Hanging the leg back. See if you can look and see underneath your right armpit. Maybe you see your left foot there. And if you're up for it. Even early in the morning, the wild thing, dropping your leg behind. Extend out through your right foot and reach through the left arm. Reach and breathe. That's it. Strength and balance. Good. Exhale. Looking down. Roll over nicely to downward dog. Rest in child's if you need to. Stable, steady, strengthening. And going to the other side as you're ready, the right leg comes up, pointing through the toes. Press the hands away into the floor. Reach, reach to the foot. That's it. Staying connected to the strong center. Notice what happens as we hang the leg, bending the knee. Hanging this right leg, turning on the left foot to so drop the foot if you wish for a wild thing. And opening, good. Trust in the left hand, reach to the right. So press away your feet. Breathe. One more deep breath. Good. Looking down. And nicely rolling over, inhale. And exhale, coming back to child's. Stretch the arms, cooling down. We practice yoga in the tropics because this, it's not the coldness I and mean, the body has to stay warm so it naturally it heats up very fast and uh, there's more, more feeling of I would say heat release. So these open armpit poses, open side poses are very good in the tropics I've noticed to help that heat release. In the colder countries when you're practicing, then you can keep your arms closer to the body, legs in to keep the heat in more. Hmm? Because the air around is a bit cooler, generally. Okay, and then please come up onto the knees. Hands together in front of the heart. Seeing these helpful qualities to make it through this life. When, we, when we're clear and we really want our life to be a meaningful life, purposeful life, it does take courage to change habits, courage to follow your heart. It takes devotion, conviction. So invoking these qualities in the form of Hanuman and this prayer, Vira Maruti. Okay, with full heart, here we go, together, 
Viramarti Gambhiramarti Viramarti Gambhiramarti Bhaktamarti Parama Bhaktamarti Bhaktamarti Parama Bhaktamarti Viramarti Gambhiramarti Vira Marti Gambhira Marti Bhakta Marti Parama Bhakta Marti Bhakta Marti Parama Bhakta Marti Vira Marti Gambhira Marti Vira Marti Gambhira Marti Bhakta Marti Parama Bhakta Marti Bhakta Marti Parama Bhakta Marti Vira Marti Gambhira Marti Vira Marti Gambhira Marti Bhakta Marti Parama Bhakta Marti Bhakta Marti Parama Bhakta Marti One more Vira Marti Gambhira Marti Vira Marti Gambhira Marti Bhakta Marti Parama Bhakta Marti Bhakta Marti Parama Bhakta Marti Stay open. One can draw the lower back backwards a little bit but keep the heart lifted. Open. Open heart. Heart first. And lead with my heart. I know my own heart. And relaxing the hands and the lap. Feel the stimulation through the, the upper body, the chest, the heart. Setting up for the next pose. This next pose is an uh, offering into the fire. Those things that you, we tend to kind of hang on to as, as identities and, and certain pain that we become identified with, familiar with, stories, etc., and traumas. Now's the time to kind of bring that forward and out into the fire, you know, to start it anyway, uh, releasing that old patterns, make way for the new, so let's burn, let's burn it in the fire. Okay, so we may need a little support underneath the knee. Here I take the right, and then left foot. Part of this, this movement is the integrity of the core is there helping. So we're not just sloppy with the fire. And you see the, the Balinese when they're bending, they bend nicely from the hips and straight back. So they must have that core connection. We offer into the fire, okay? So feel that. It, to me it feels like a much more noble, uh, for, you know, like that sort of Egyptian length in your, and then forward, you know? The beautiful smiling eyes, a great chance to, to release this thing. So, Agnaye Swaha, can do? Agnaye Swaha, 
up, I offer to the fire. Agnaye idam namama. Agnam idam namama. It's no longer mine. This is not mine anymore. Agnaye swaha. Agnaye idam namama. 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 Let go of fear. Agnaye swaha. Agnaye idam namama. And shame. Agnaye swaha. Agnaye idam namama. Grief. Good grief. Swaha Agnaye idam namama. Agnaye swaha. Agnaye idam namama. Stay forward. Stay forward. That's right. Good. Quite strong movement, actually. So we take a rest. Let your head soften forward, stretch the back of the neck. Then stretch out through the right foot, right leg, okay, reaching back through the toes, your back leg. And then tucking your right toes under, arching up your spine, rounding the back, draw your head down towards your knee, press your feet strongly down into the floor and away from each other, back of the legs lengthening, allow your back to round like a, like a great uh, willow tree hanging over a river, draw your belly up into the spine. And see if we can make that smooth transition to the other side, pressing in your, your hands, stepping back, arranging your left knee to land from the pillow and the right to come forward. One time we may do that all together and keep the chanting going and we have a guitar player and so on. Agna he swaha, Agna he idan namama, Agna he swaha, Agna he idan namama, Agna he swaha, Agna he idan namama, Agna he swaha. Agnaye idam namama. Agnaye swaha. Agnaye idam namama. Inadequacy. Put it down. Agnaye swaha. Agnaye idam namama. Agnaye swaha. Doubt. Agnaye idam namama. Agnaye swaha sorrow. Agnaye idan namama. Not mine. Agnaye swaha. Agnaye idan namama. Last one. Agnaye swaha. Agnaye idan namama. Stay down. Stretch back your left leg. Hang the head. Breathe. Allowing the heat to release from the back of the legs, the thighs and hips. Tucking the, the back toes, 
under, walk your hands back a little behind the front foot, arching the spine, head coming down towards the knee. Press your feet into the floor. And feel that cat stretch. Very nice, arching to the spine, drawing the belly up and in. Good. And bending the front knee, see if you can smoothly land this front leg or the back leg next to the front. Bending the knees and sweeping the hands up, descending. And exhale, come. Standing for a moment. Maybe a light sweat. Taking your legs wide, with two more. Open the feet. Wide enough to feel that stretch to the inner legs. Mm -hmm. I'm completing the, the hip stretching you've been doing. Inhaling center, exhaling and twist, squeeze. Inhaling, good. And really feel this squeezing motion in the, in the belly. If we just drop the upper body down to one side, we're not going to feel it, okay? Not just bowing your head, it's twisting, it's squeezing, yeah? Squeezing the spine, squeezing the kidneys. Keeping the legs strong like pillows. Come back to center, inhale, toe to heel. Coming up onto the toes, both toes. Step your feet together. Bring the back of your hands together, fingernails. Into the throat. This is more in the, the air element, the space element. Releasing between the head and heart. On the in breath, rise up on the toes. On the out breath, through the mouth. Throw your hands sink down. That's it. Inhale. Come up and touch the throat. Exhale. Good. Together. A little faster. Good. That's it. Good. All that's been said. All that's been unsaid. Clearing in the heart and the head. <coughs> and 
one more. Good. Rest your hands lightly on the throat. May we have the courage to say those things that we know at some point we need to say. Some things we're afraid. Maybe we're also afraid to, to share our love. The ones that are, are close to you in a lifetime also can present the most challenge. That's where we need to, to be true, to express. With kindness, but with truthfulness, with love. Truth is, is clearing. The truth is <coughs> supporting your, your full self to shine. If we're hiding behind lies, it will be very difficult to, to shine out in fullness. And if we're just harboring, harboring guilt and hurts and things like that, so take it seriously. How we speak and help ourselves free up. Coming down, yeah. Coming right down forward. Step back to downward dog just as a setup here. A nice hip sequence here. You come forward with your left knee towards the pigeon. Mm -hmm. Let the right foot slide back, slide way back. Okay. Staying up for a moment, support it on your fingertips. This is the lion pigeon. Okay, you ever seen that fellow in the park? Looks like an ordinary pigeon, and then, ah. <laughs> So that's you in this next breath. Inhale, tongue out, eyes bright. Good, right from the hips. Good. And sometimes you feel like saying that, you can't, it's not appropriate. Now it is, inhale. And one more, just for Donald Trump, just because it makes you feel like that sometimes. Thank you. Good. Thank you. And come down on your elbows. Smooth, cool breaths to the hips. seeing where it is this morning. What I mean is your back leg. Where is your back leg? And if you bend at that leg, reach back with your left hand. Maybe today we find it easily. And there's the thigh. Oh, yeah. find the foot totally all right. Um, 
exhale and dropping down roll over onto the left side bring the right leg forward and across Gomukasana. So here, only coming into the outer hips, you can feel there, keep breathing, lighting up those hips. Breath and loving attention. Here one can set up the hands with the left hand, the base of the hand, this valley here, comes onto the knee, more or less. She feels quite good actually just to press that in there. And then the right hand on top. And your thumbs open like that. And then if you kind of squint your eyes and hallucinate mildly, then you'll see a cow face there. That's why it's called Gomukasana. Releasing your, your hands over to the right foot, which you'll find on the left side. And let's come up halfway. So here, we release some heat from the back of the legs. Open the arms. Spend a moment in the forward bend. Good, pressing your feet down into the ground. Walking your hands around past the left foot. So the right leg drops. Okay. Some luck, we might end up on the other side. Okay, <laughs> the left leg on top. And then we wind that left leg back to the, the pigeon. This pigeon is, is the wolf pigeon. Have you seen that fellow? In the park? You think he's just going to come around and peck and eat those things and then how? Oh, yeah, very surprising. Okay. Okay. So in Malmo at dusk, let's look out for the wolf pigeon. Ready? Inhale. And then. So if nothing else, it's a very unique pose. Isn't it? Yeah, good. So, you, know, you ever feel like, I wonder if anyone has ever done this before in this spot? Okay. You like to be original? Yeah. Let's try one more time. Okay. So whatever kind of wolf comes out. Yeah. Let's 
come down. more smooth breaths. And then reaching for the left foot with the right hand. See what's the easiest way. Yes, if you feel the leg is a long way. Feel the heat of the stretch coming? Ah, yeah. Mm. That's it. One more breath. Go, shift over to the right, and swinging the leg on top. Go, Mukasana. This time the right hand on the ground, left hand on top. All through the spine, the eyes smiling. The cat. Let's check into the hips to make sure, even even in the strong sensation, that we're not uh, kind of adding to that and like holding. Holding and really visualize, feel the hips softening out. You can keep breathing into your pockets. Getting nice, cool, softening breath. Let's chant a few times the, the mantra for Manipura Chakra, third chakra. Om Ram Ramaye Namaha. And feel that around the solar plexus. Om Ram Ramaye Namaha. Om Ram Ramaye Namaha. Om Ram Ramaye Namaha Invoking clear motivation Om Ram Ramaye Namaha A meaningful life Om Ram Ramaye Namaha Dharmic life Om Ram Rama is always pictured with a very straight back, straight spine, absolute nobility, absolute honor, as much as you can in a relative world. When I say absolute, it means max. Okay. So as we charge on through the 
our life. So may we do so with deepest honor, integrity, and within Dharma. Uh, releasing your legs, come lying down on the belly. We'll make a nice twist here as we wind down towards Shavasana. And close. Resting on the cool earth, take your hands out to the sides, arms stretch wide. Turn to look towards the left shoulder. Inhale, reach up the left leg, rolling over to the right. And draw the left foot in close to the bum, standing on the floor. Or just reaching back with your left leg is fine. And supporting with your right foot on the inner left knee. <coughs> So the dying warrior goddess is a nice archetype. It's she she goes for it. She follows her heart, her convictions, fully in a meaningful way. And in this case here we, we don't have to live and be a martyr. Okay? So we we live for, for our freedom, know that our freedom also supports everybody. Hmm? So we die to our doubts, we die to our fears. And soon, as you're ready, in the next few breaths, unwinding, coming resting on your belly, you have a good exhalation. Okay, to the other side, look to the right, moving the right leg behind. If you roll onto the left hip, it's just extending through the right leg to feel that. And you can also do this with the straight right leg. And then as you're ready, placing your foot to the floor, supporting. It's also going to support the lungs. For those of us who are entertaining a cough, it's nice. You can feel the left shoulder, top of the lungs, right on the ground there, stimulating lung points. So releasing excess heat, hips and sides. Uh, 
Continue gracefully unwinding. Resting on the belly, having a good exhalation. <sighs> Bathing in the after twist. Please roll over onto your back, take your knees up into the chest. A few deep breaths into your back. Shavasana, leg stretching in the body, symmetrical, comfortable. So the body is, is one thing, but the mind is real, really the thing we want to relax. It can be helpful just to employ the mind lightly in, in bringing the attention through the body. Because the mind is, is all through the body. Visualize the feet, the toes, the bones in the feet, soles of the feet relaxing. Both feet relaxing. Heels, ankles, lower legs, all around the knees and the kneecaps. The back of the legs and the thighs. Visualize and feel the legs relaxing. Relaxing in the hips, buttocks, between the legs, genitals, sacrum, lower belly, all through the hips, relax. Lower back, middle back, upper back, visualizing the back, feel it, relaxing, shoulders, upper arms, elbows, lower arms and hands, fingers and thumbs, relaxing, both arms, relaxing. You know, the stomach, chest, and the rib cage softening. And now the neck, the back of the neck, back of the head, feel the weight of the head. Behind the ears, between the ears. Visualize the brain right and left, the brain floating. Relaxing behind the eyes, behind the nose and deep in the mouth, the jaw, the mouth and lips relaxing, face, forehead, even the hairs on the head relaxing, the whole face, head and neck relax whole upper body, relax, the whole lower body, 
relax. Whole body relax. Letting go. Completely letting go. Krishna Govinda Govinda Gopala Nandala Krishna Govinda Govinda Gopala Nandala Gopala Nandala Gopala Nandala Gopala Nandala Gopala Nandala Gopala Nandala presence of your body, see the sparkle of the mind, 
signal from the mind to gently awaken, to reanimate, starting with the toes and fingers, hands and feet, circling, stretching, reaching the arms above. Bringing the knees up, rocking side to side. up to the center, sitting, This mantra that we chant, that I just chanted, my song is, is beautiful, praise of the knowledge and the fruits of the knowledge, and how it brings you home to your heart. Yoga is not holding out any false promises. People, maybe, are holding, but the yoga, no, it's always true, and if we honor it, and respect and keep our devotion there, it, it will bless, it does bless. You can join me Krishna Govinda, do you feel comfortable? Yes. Krishna Govinda, Govinda, Gopalanandala, Krishna Govinda Govinda Gopalanandala 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 Krishna Govinda Govinda Gopalanandala Krishna Govinda Govinda Gopalanandala Gopalanandala prayer once through together. Om Shanti 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 Thank you all. I wish you a beautiful day. Mm-hmm.